I'm maybe an inch under the record for spike touch and Jackson's. Yeah, and then record. as far as physically, if we are compared girls and guys, I guess you would match up if I was a girl and she was a guy. Jackson always appeared as my little brother. Basically. Yeah, like everyone would ask, oh, that's your little brother. She was like way better athlete. People knew Hillary. They would say, oh, you're Hillary's brother. And I'd be like, yeah. There was a time where he was 5'2", and I was 5'10". I would always call him the Auntie Kathy of the family because we have this one aunt that's pretty short, and then the rest of our family is like quite tall. Yeah. So that was kind of our joke. Oh, you're going to be the Auntie Kathy of the family, and he hated that. Yeah. Like, hated it. She said it so much, I started to believe it. <laughs> <laughs> And I would try to make it seem like I'm on flat feet, but I would kind of just tiptoe just an inch, just give me a centimeter, maybe. I kind of remember we started becoming better friends, and then I think that's when we made a handshake in grade eight or nine. Yeah. Because we were like, okay, when we see each other in the hallway, How we gotta, cool we, would that we be gotta whip kinda. it out. Yeah. So then that was kind of the first time we got closer and got our handshake. Turn competitive to more motivation and helping each other, yeah. kind of. In a As more mature older. way. <laughs> yeah, we've grown up a little bit. <laughs> we were both playing on the junior national team, and we got to wear the Team Canada jerseys together. And I remember that summer we were like, this is so cool that we both get to represent Canada together. Before games, I'll always see her on the court, and right when the national anthem like ends, I'll and everyone's style, and I'll just go, go Hillary! So just, that like, I can super loud. Yeah, which is pretty embarrassing, but kind of funny at the same time. And I just smile and just glad he's there, I guess. I think why Trinity's so cool, especially with the volleyball program, is just the Christian aspect. We pray before practice after games. You kind of reminded to be thankful and and it's more than volleyball. Volleyball is a platform for us, but it's not who we are. It's kind of something that we do every day, but we can use our gifts and talents to glorify God. That we're not just playing for ourselves, but we're here for a greater purpose. I believe in Hillary's case that she's gonna be able to impact our national team and be involved with that. It's gonna be a, take a lot of hard work, but she's got a special gifting to be able to do that. Just like his vertical, the sky's the limit. I mean, he spent the summer with the national B team. He was the youngest player on that roster. That was after just one year with us. So I'd love to predict, but it's gonna be, it's already beyond what I would have thought. I think the, the sports, uh, we want that to be a part of their life, but it's not really all their life. They're more than volleyball players. I think spiritually, like, they've grown a lot. Just the atmosphere on the team and the praying together and supporting each other. It's developed them spiritually to look out for each other. When you're with your twin, you're going to say what's on your mind or you're not going to beat around the bush no at filter, all. Kinda. And then one time Hillary just called me out and was just like, you do know volleyball can't just be your identity. It kind of seems like it, it's being your identity right now. And then I was, I was kind of taken back a bit, finding identity through Christ. That was probably the biggest thing Hillary taught me. I definitely see God's love through Jackson. You can bring your problems to God and he usually can take them from you and make you feel like everything's going to be okay. And sometimes to Jackson, to me, he can somehow make me feel better and then laugh and then move on. We have to be so thankful that we have this opportunity and just grateful to be here. Volleyball is not going to last forever, obviously. Your body's going to break down at some point. Maybe, maybe tomorrow, maybe 10 years, who knows. But volleyball is a thing that God blessed us with to, to play and have fun with. So might as well roll with it. <laughs> yeah.